Hi friends, it's Marissa. Welcome to the second Etsy template in the activity package. Um, you will know from the first video if you watched it that it irks me when people sell digital products on Etsy and don't actually show anyone how to um, edit them and customize them. So here we are. I'm going to show you how to customize template number two, which is the second listing template. You also have the option between the first listing template, but it's kind of just personal preference and whichever one you like better. So today we are going to customize the second listing template. Um, so first of all, we can change the fonts. So up here, if we click on just listed, you'll notice it's Helvetica new. We could click on something else. We could make it this source serif pro if we wanted. It will change the look of things a little bit. So just be aware of that. You might want to go with a similar font. So for example, this Helvetica new is pretty monoline and simple. And if we go with Futura, that's also pretty simple. So I am just going to go with Futura for the sake of time. I would probably normally just tinker around with things for a while. But um, another thing we can do is we can click on Futura. So now this is changing Helvetica new to Futura. Down here, you could do change all. So it's going to change everything that's Helvetica new. It's going to change it to Futura. So if you watch the design real quick, it will adjust some things for you. This is actually a different font, so it's not going to adjust that necessarily. We will have to go over here and we'll do bold for the name. And then if it kind of goes like that, you can just click on it and drag this little bit over. Um, and then we will just make this Futura regular. So I'm going to go back up here, Futura regular. All right, next we're going to change some colors. So if we don't want this to be brown, we can click in here. And I have this kind of like a dual color right now. That's how the template is set up. So we've got black on the first line, brown on the second line. If you wanted them to be both the same color, you could select everything and just change it to whatever color. But if you want just the second line to be changed, make sure you only have that selected. We're going to come over here and we're going to change it to this green because that's just what I'm going with for all of these, these template how-tos. So now we will notice that it is black and green. And we could also change these little icons to green as well. So if we click on here, change it to green. If there is anything in here that is not technically an element and it's a photo. Um, I'll have to show you what I mean in just a second. Then I will show you how to hack that. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to search for house. And a lot of these are going to be just a little graphic, just an element that you can typically change the color of. So for example, if I click this one in here, it'll show up that color box that I can change the color. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for for sake of example. Um, this probably is not the best example to be totally honest, but we will try this one. Um, it's just, for example, if you have any elements in there that need to be changed to a certain color, you can change them. Actually, I'll show you on the, the logo here. That's a better representation. So I am going to show you right here on our Keller Williams Fox Cities logo. You'll notice there is no color box up here. So if we want to change the color of it, we go to edit photo and then in effects, there is an effect called duotone. We're going to click on duotone and then you can click any one of these because we're going to change both colors. So it doesn't matter. But then we would go to highlights and we could drag it all the way down to black or up to white. If you save this hex number from something else, or you could use like the little eyedropper, um, you could go in and change it to this blue. So why don't we do that? Because then it will match everything. Um, and there we go. Now it's changed to blue. And the font we can change to blue as well. But if there is anything in here that you find yourself unable to change, that's the workaround. So next, which I'm going to back out of that actually, because I want to change this bar to green. Everything that I had brown in here, I'm going to change to green. So I'm going to change this bar to green. This bar does have some transparency on it. So up here where it looks like it's a square fading away is transparency. You can adjust it down or adjust it up. If you wanted it to be one big solid line, you could just keep it 100%. So we're going to leave it like that. I just had it see through a little bit so you could see this um, third photo on the bottom. 
but we can leave it like that. And then if you do want to change anything, any text, you can come in here and just start typing away and that'll change the text. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, same here. Same here is the three. You could change that to two beds, two baths, whatever. So then we're going to change out the photos. So I'm going to come over here to a different listing and I'm going to drag in the top primary picture and then I'm going to drag in a couple more. So I'm going to do the living room and then I'm going to do um, the kitchen or the dining room. So now we have our three pictures and if we wanted this house to be a little bit closer for like, wow, that's a lot of driveway space. I don't really want to showcase all of that. Um, you can double click in here and you can crop it. So when you double click in, you can, sometimes it is so weird. Um, you can double click in and it should let you crop it. So you can drag it out a little bit more and then move it around like so. And now it's all nice and cropped and it's still in that same size and format that it was in the template. Then we're gonna switch out our picture. So I have a whole folder of headshots over here and I'm just gonna pick a random one and we do the same thing. We drag it to the edge until it populates in there. And then if I wanted my face a lot closer, you can do the same thing and just drag it out and crop it a little bit more. And there we have it. That is all pretty much. We could change this to, to like a white, for example. So if we wanted this to just be white, we could do that. And then we can come up here to share once we are content with our design. We're going to hit download and then I typically save it in PNG or JPEG format. Um, honestly, I save it in PNG quite often. So just do whatever you would like. Um, but then you will come over here and click on page two or you can click on current page if it knows what page you're on. And then you will just hit the purple download button and then it will start downloading to your computer. From there, you can either email it to yourself or post it right from your computer. I like to email it to myself and then post it right from my phone. Just find it a little more user friendly. And that is pretty much it for listing template number two. So be sure to watch all of the other ones. And if you don't yet have these templates, check in the description because I'm going to leave the link to go buy these templates. There's 10 templates. It's for pretty much every single activity you would do in real estate that you would need to make a post for. Um, we've got buyer templates, listing templates, and reviews. So definitely go check it out. I have a lot of other fun things on my Etsy shop as well. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.